All right, we're doing the uh, videos for the cervical spine inclinometer measurements. So we'll start with flexion. So for uh, flexion, or for the C-spine ones, you're gonna try to find the um, C7, which is gonna be the first spinous process that you can feel, which is gonna be right there. You're gonna put the inclinometer over it, and you're gonna balance it out to zero. And then the other one, you're gonna put on top of the head and get down to zero there. And then Hannah, will you flex for me? So it's gonna be there. So she's at 55 up top and 20 down below. So that means she has a flexion of 35. And then you can, when you do extension, you can go the opposite way and keep them in the same place. So you go backwards for me. So for the bottom one, she's at 10. The top one, she's at 55. So that's about 45 degrees. So for lateral flexion, you're gonna um, have the <laughs> things in the same place. Um, so find that C7, balance it out. Get this to move. There we go. There we go. And then you're gonna put this on top of the head, balance it out. Sorry. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And you're gonna have her laterally flexed to one side. So we'll go to that side. So the top one is at 25, the bottom one is at uh, 10, so she has 15 degrees there. And then for the last one, we'll have her lay down on her back. You're gonna put it on her um, forehead. You're gonna balance it out to about right there, balance out to zero, and then Hannah, will you rotate your head for me? Go down to that, and I'll go down to that side. It's at about, 80, so she's got about 80 degrees of rotation there.